Welcome to this lesson. Here we're going to see just how quickly and easily one can bring in a scale map from Google Earth into the virtual crash system. So here we have a typical neighborhood and we see that there's a scale on the bottom left, very important, and we're just, we're just going to save a copy of this. And here we see the image saved from Google Earth on our desktop. And here we can open it and take a look. And you'll notice that the uh, scale has been saved to the bottom right corner. We'll be using that. So if we open up our Virtual Crash 3 software environment, we can go to Projects and Import. We go to Import and find that image. And here we see it imported into the environment. But the scale is not properly set, so we'll need to do that now using the uh, procedure. So simply click on Select and right-click and under Use, you do a left click until you get to Scaled Image. And now we can zoom in. And we zoom in and we find our Scale Tool. Once we right, uh, left click on the Scale Tool, we move the endpoints of our scale arrow to the endpoints of our scale from the Google Earth image. That should be fine. And we come over to the left hand column and set the scale to be 80 feet. And you'll notice that the image enlarges. And now we just deselect the scale tool and we can get back to work. So let's go ahead and freeze that. If we go in and we check with our distance uh, dimension line, we should see that the dimensions are in fact 80 feet. The dimensions of the scale line are in fact about 80 feet, which is what we see here. So that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and set up a collision in our neighborhood. Uh, let's suppose that we have a tractor trailer. Let's go ahead and pick a tractor. And here's our trailer. And all we have to do with the trailer is come down here and left click, pick leader, and it'll know to connect the tractor and the trailer together. And then you just have to move the trailer forward uh, to suit your particular needs. Here's the lateral offset. And what we want to adjust is the hitch overhang. If we give it an initial velocity, by left clicking and then right clicking on it, We can just give him an initial uh, velocity running the stop sign. Now let's suppose we have another vehicle.
Let's make him red. And we can get these controls by uh, going to Select, Move, and Manipulate. This will give us access, if we left click on the vehicle with that tool, we'll get these icons to appear. And these icons are pretty neat. Um, they allow you to control the vehicle within the scene environment itself. So let's suppose we have an initial speed of 20 miles per hour. Let's suppose he's running the stop sign also. And we can give him a little steer angle by using the steering control. And you can actually change the parameters on the fly as you're monitoring the path of the vehicle in real time. So if you suppose at this moment here, the Audi driver slams on the brakes, you use the braking icon and you slide it all the way back for 100% braking. And there you could see that braking started before the uh, impact occurred. And you can even view this at one quarter speed or one half speed to really help you fine tune your collision. Another interesting feature of virtual crash is that as you set your mouse cursor over the interposition boxes in the environment, it'll back up the simulation to show you where both vehicles are at that moment. Here we're playing at 1 16th speed. And of course, the simulation updates in real time as you move the vehicles around. It's just that simple to set up a environment where the background image is set to scale. Thank you for watching.